With the Z Modeler brush selected, hover over an edge and press spacebar to open up the Z Modeler Edge Action menu. Locate the Bridge Action. With the Bridge Action selected, you'll have two targets down below. To start off, let's select the Edges target. With the Edges target selected, if you simply hover over an open edge on your model, you'll get a dialog that'll say Click First Edge. Clicking a first edge and then clicking a second edge will produce a bridge effect. This will allow you to come through and by simply just clicking edges, fill holes on your actual model. Undoing this process and then hovering over an edge again and pressing spacebar to return to the Zmodeler Edge Action menu, now let's select the target of two holes. With the two holes target selected, you'll have a wider range of modifiers down below. To start off, let's just have the spline modifier selected. Returning to your model and now clicking on one edge of an open hole, and then clicking on a second edge of another open hole and dragging will produce a bridge effect. By moving your cursor left and right will change the elevation of the actual bridge, and then moving your cursor up and down will increase the actual tessellation. With this, you can come through and create bridge effects on your actual model. Now, this actual bridge function does not have to be adjacent, so I can come over here and click the first edge here, and then click the second edge over here, and produce a bridge effect like this. Now, with the bridge two holes target selected, there are a bunch of modifiers you can change down here as well. So we've been using the spline option here. These other options will allow you to determine what kind of curves will be generated when the actual bridge is created. So if I come here and now select something like tight round corners, and click first edge, and click second edge, you'll see that I'm getting a bridge effect that is generating with tight corners on the actual areas here. If I want to just make a complete circle here, I can come back in and now select the actual circle modifier, and now click first edge and click second edge, and now get a bridge effect that is circular in formation. Continuing down below, we have some other modifiers as well. We have the option to set a interactive curvature and interactive resolution, and this is controlled by your actual dragging. If you do not want this to be interactive, you can change this to optimal curvature or even half curvature. You also have the ability to choose the optimal resolution or the minimal resolution needed to actually generate the bridge. So having these selected and returning my model and clicking one and then clicking two will produce a curve like so. Now since I had the actual interactive modifier turned off, the actual bridge effect is generated automatically. Hovering over an edge again and then returning back to the actual Z Modeler Edge Action menu, you have some other options to determine how the polygrouping will be established on your mesh as well. So right now we had it set to polygroup columns, so we can actually change this to polygroup rows, and if I apply that actual bridging effect again, you'll notice that the polygrouping is now generated in a row fashion. We can also set this to polygroup flat, which will generate one polygroup across that actual entire bridge, like this. Some other modifiers down here, you can determine where the actual pivot point is generated by where you click on the actual mesh, and then you can change the alignment of the edges. One final thing to note about the actual bridge two holes action is not only can you bridge holes on your model that contain the same edge distribution, but you can also bridge holes on your meshes that have different edge distribution. So this hole here has eight edges surrounding it, and this hole here has four. So to do this, you just need to come over and click first edge, and then click second edge again, and drag, and it will actually bridge those two holes. So as you can see here, as this hole is being bridged, ZBrush is automatically generating topology to terminate the effect across each area. So this is really handy in creating some really interesting shapes and designs on your actual model. So using this action, you can come through and interactively add bridging to any open hold areas on your model. 